read it. But you see, that's the problem. No one bothers to read the Quran. No one bothers to study the Quran. And yet how many people have read the Quran? How many Muslims have read the Quran? Reading the Quran in Arabic is an act of virtue for which you will be rewarded even if you do not understand it. It is in fact only the Quran in Arabic. Once it is translated, it is not technically the Quran anymore. Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitab Al-Mubin Inna Anzalnahu Qur'anan Arabiyyan La'allakum Ta'qilun Rather, everything you read, you try to practice. You read about riba, you try to, try to take away, stay away from riba. You read about cheating in business transactions, you read about, you practice cheating away from business transactions. You read about aqim as salah, about the zakat, about the hajj, about the siyam. You're practicing everything. It's a dynamic process. You interact with the Quran. And the more you interact with the Quran, the more you read the Quran, the more guided you are. Alif la ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. It is sent down by the All Wise, worthy of all praise. By listening to the Quran with sincerity, with ikhlas, it will soften the heart. يا أخي يا أختي What other book can make the eyes of grown men to fill with tears and to stream and make them cry. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, the Prophet said to me, recite the Quran upon me. So I said, how can I read the Quran upon you? And yet upon you, it was revealed. He said, I like to hear it from others besides me. So I recited Surah An-Nisa until I reached the following verse. فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئْنَا وَجِئْنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ شَهِيدًا How will it be when we bring from each nation a witness and we bring you O Muhammad Sallallahu as a witness against his people so he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that is enough for me so I turned to him only to see his eyes flowing with tears Subhanallah فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ شَهِيدًا How will it be? Brothers and sisters, this ayah, pay attention to it. How will it be when we bring from each nation a witness from our ummah? There will be a witness and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam will be witness against us. How will we be? How will we answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if our own prophet is witness against us? Ya Allah. Why shouldn't we cry when we hear such verses like this? Is that not enough to shake the heart, to rattle the brains? And that was the heart of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best of creation. So what about us? When was the last time our hearts were moved by the words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? When was the last time that after hearing these ayat of Quran, that we acted on the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Oh my Lord, verily, my people deserted this Quran, they've abandoned it. Subhanallah, is that not us today? Are we not the ummah? Are we not the ones that Allah said, the messenger will say that we have abandoned, we have deserted this Quran? Ask yourself, Ya Akhi, my brother, Ya Akhti, my sister, Ask yourself, am I the negligent one? Am I the one who has abandoned this Quran? If you really want to save yourself 
from being negligent to the Quran, the solution is not a strain on us by any standard. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever reads 10 verses at night will not be recorded as one of the negligent. Subhanallah, 10 verses, 10 ayat of the Quran, is that so much for us?